There are countless entrepreneurs who came to America with nothing and through hard work and perseverance, built businesses that changed the world. Babak Hedayati is one of those determined immigrant entrepreneurs. In 1978, he left his home in Tehran in the days leading up to the Iranian Revolution to live with his older brother near Santa Cruz, California. When I came to the U.S., I was about 12 years old, and the shift in, in the whole environment, it wasn't just cultural, it was everything. Uh, it really was a uh, enlightenment in a way. It, it felt like in Iran, for all of its positives, there was a, a, a ceiling for pretty much everyone. You had to know people, you had to be connected to grow, to get the good jobs and the good positions in, in different companies and uh, government positions. So really, you would look at America as a land of opportunity. So for me it was, hey, I'm gonna go there, I'm gonna learn, and the doors will open somehow. Only if I work hard enough, if I participate in the right things, I will have a chance. There's a statement that I try to carry even into this company's culture. It's no FUD, no fear, uncertainty, and doubt. And that really got developed at that point because fear, uncertainty, and doubt cause you to stop, cause you to not move forward, make you kind of hold back. And that concept actually exists in businesses where people want to try new things and because of fear, uncertainty, and doubt, they stop doing it. And that was the one thing I didn't have. I didn't have any fear, uncertainty, and doubt. For me, it was just move forward, find out what happens, and you'll be okay, you'll figure it out. A fellow Persian, Omid Kordistani, who went on to become Twitter executive chairman, gave a lecture at San Jose State University that ignited Hedayadi's interest in marketing. In my head, I had gone from wanting to be an entrepreneur who makes money to an innovator. And the whole concept of solving problems and challenges for other people and, and in, the, in the social structure was something that was with me. Eventually, Hedayadi followed this passion to Harvard Business School, where he took on an executive leadership course. Betting on your own vision is one thing. Really getting other people to see it, agree with it, want to participate in it is another. Seeing an opportunity to streamline the data behind ad campaigns, in 2009, Hedayadi launched TapClicks, a customizable dashboard created to track real-time performance of ads. You know, there's a whole explosion of different kinds of sales and marketing technology companies, advertising companies, and someone needs to manage this. Someone needs to be able to manage its operations, be able to analyze the results, Someone needs to be able to report on it. And that company probably can add a lot of value to advertising companies, agencies, media companies, enterprises, et cetera, brands. And for us, that was, the, that was the problem we went out to solve, and it really worked. We had the right vision, the right people, and the right experience in the marketplace to solve it. As an entrepreneur and an immigrant, the perspective that you have is really from two different sources of great knowledge. So when you go to innovate, you can draw from best of both worlds and, and try to solve a problem that exists in society or, or at a workplace or whatever, some kind of an efficiency issue. You really can draw from both. So the immigrant has a little bit of an advantage because they, they're multicultural. And to me, that's an important thing.